Good morning everyone, it's Mark Weens with Migrationology.com and EatingTaipo.com in Bangkok, Thailand. I think it is day 13 of our Bangkok trip. And this morning, we are walking over to have a cup of coffee first. And then after that, we're gonna go back to our hotel, we're gonna check out and we are transferring to our final hotel in Bangkok on the riverside. This coffee shop is called Pakamara and I went with a piccolo latte with two shots. It looks and smells delicious and this is an entire roaster so they have coffee beans here and they also have coffee making supplies as well. Oh, that's a good cup of coffee. Oh, it is really rich and really creamy and a little bit like a little bit frothy, nicely strong coffee, and yet it's smooth at the same time. That's good. Mm. That was a great cup of coffee. We're gonna go back to our hotel now and pack up and get ready to go. Right along the Chao Phraya River, there are some of Bangkok's most well-known and fancy and really nice hotels. And so for this last segment, we have two nights left in this Bangkok travel trip series and so Ying and I just just like yesterday we decided to book a hotel on the river and this will sort of be our end honeymoon experience trip in Bangkok so we are gonna take the BTS to Sapan Taksin station and then from there we should have a complimentary ferry directly to our hotel. Okay, we made it to Sapan Taksin and just a one minute walk to the river. We're waiting at the pier now, waiting for our shuttle to the hotel. That is our hotel right there. This place is called Chatrium on the riverside. We're gonna try to find the lobby somewhere. It should be in the front. So we got a reservation for Mark Queens. And the next place fish is All right. Thank you. We're all checked into the hotel. We're on the 25th floor. It's a very, very spacious room. Actually, a huge room. But definitely the highlight is that incredible view of Bangkok. We got the river. Oh, and we even have a balcony. Yeah, we got river view. Incredible view of Bangkok and skyline and Wow amazing view and I haven't even seen the bathroom yet. Let's go check out the bathroom. How is the bathroom coming? Okay, moving into the bathroom shower both a shower and a tub and then Toilet yeah, very spacious We're gonna go out for lunch now, but I just laid down to test the bed, and this is an incredibly comfortable bed, and also have a nice view of Bangkok over there. <laughs> Ying, okay, my cup. Okay, la. Yeah, really comfortable bed, I have to say. The only reason I managed to get off that bed is because it's lunchtime, and Ying and I are both hungry, so we're walking on our way to find something to eat. In order to get to lunch quickly, we just decided to jump onto a little orange bus. Just gonna go straight down the road and eat lunch. We got off the bus and we just walked into the, kind of in the neighborhood down an alley. And this restaurant is called Jalun Seng Silom. They are very, very popular at lunchtime for kamu, which is braised pork leg. And this restaurant is packed out right now. And actually, unfortunately, uh, we tried to order the pig feet, but the feet are already finished for the day. So we're gonna get the braised leg, and this is a great environment. And it's hectic right now. I love it. 
I sure hope my wife is hungry because she just ordered. Look at the size of this thing. There are only two of us eating, but this is like a, a two kilo hunk of pork. Wow. And that is beautiful. Just, I, I don't even, that's like a pork drumstick. That skin, oh, look at that meat underneath it. Wow, that is un absurdly tender. I'm gonna just peel back that skin and go in for a bite of that meat. Look, look at that meat. Wow, wow, whoa, whoa. And then this is the plate of rice. It comes with a little bit of uh, what I believe is the braised pork juice on the rice. And I, I will set that down. This literally just, you don't, it's like effortless pulling that pork apart. And let me just add a little bit of, actually, I better taste it before I even taste the sauce. Look at that meat. <laughs> oh, that is amazing. All oh, that meat is so tender. It's like, it's just pure effortless chewing. Oh, and that's so flavorful. That bite I had is actually quite meaty um, with just a little bit of fat on it, maybe a little bit of that skin. And then it has a it has a sweet tinge to it, but it's not too sweet. And just that like almost herbal Chinese braised flavor to it. Might be like, oh, that's, that is marvelous. I'm going to remove a big chunk of meat from this side. <laughs> Look at, the, look at the size of that piece of meat. Wow. Oh, wow, that's like an entire... <laughs> that is like an entire sandwich of meat in on a single spoon right there. That is beautiful, and that's all meat. I'm setting this onto my rice. Just look, look at that. And, and this time I'm going in for the sauce. This is the kamu sauce. And it is a lot of garlic and chilies and should be some vinegar in there as well. Oh, that's, that's gonna make it even better. Sprinkle on a little bit of this sauce. Oh, and then dig into some of that pork. Oh, that garlic, I can just smell that vinegar and garlic as well. Oh, that is ridiculously good. That meat is so tender. And then with that sauce, that gives it a, a sour, vinegary flavor, plus all those chilies and that raw garlic. And then that just kind of contrasts the flavor of the slightly sweet pork and just that braised herbal flavor. Oh, wow. That's incredible. That is incredible. And then also served with the pork is pakatong, which is, uh, this is, I think it's mustard greens braised in the same, well, in the juices of the pork. Gotta add some of that to the plate and eat with a piece of pork as well. Mm. That has a little bit of a bitter flavor, but then it's just, you can actually taste the pork juices within that vegetable. This other dish that we got here is called kaki and it is, I think it's like the joint between the foot or the hoof and the leg, if I'm not mistaken. So this is braised as well. And I think, I think this is gonna be an all fat affair and skin. And oh yeah, that's bone. That's definitely bone. Um, wow. Wow, that's gonna be very, that looks very creamy indeed. Okay, take a piece of that. Oh, oh, okay, put that onto my rice, and that looks like it's gonna need some sauce. That ne looks like it's gonna need some chili and garlic on there. Okay, there we go. Let me try that. That just like completely disintegrated in my mouth without any chewing. It's so soft. That, I think that could be considered a baby food. Oh, wow. I actually wasn't expecting the skin to be even that soft. But I have to say that like skin and fat is not my favorite. I really prefer the, the actual meat. Um, but that softness is unbelievable. I'm still working on tearing up these, these knuckles or these uh, joints. And these little like little bone things are actually very good if you chew on them.
you. They're like little, like little bone knobs, and then as you suck on them, you get like this little jelly, jelly textured. I don't know if it's fat or if it's or what it is, but it does taste pretty good. That was an excellent little lunch we just had. I am feeling a little heavy now. That was awesome. Uh, I really do like the meat. The skin and the fat is not my favorite, but the meat, absolutely insanely good. And they actually close right by 1.30, so we ate here at about 12.45, so we just got in on the tail end, and they're about to sell out. This is the type of restaurant that even Mercedes park at the end of the, the alley, and then walk down the alley to go get some of that braised pork leg. We did a little bit of shopping and walking around Bangrak, and now we just jumped into a red bus, number one, heading back down the road to our hotel. I'm thinking about taking a swim this afternoon. We're on our way to the swimming pool now. Well, this double mirror is kind of awesome, right? <laughs> That's pretty cold actually, cool water, very refreshing, and it has a really nice view of the overlooking the river, and you can see part of Bangkok as well. Very refreshing. When we checked in this morning, they gave us two coupons for welcome drink, and so we are taking our welcome drink now in the evening on the 36th floor. It's a really awesome view of Bangkok, and gonna just relax here for a bit. <sighs> Located literally right across the street from the entrance of Chatrium is one of the most legendary restaurants in Bangkok for Kaltong Pla. And this restaurant is called Kaltong Pla Gin Po. And uh, what it is is rice soup with a variety of different seafood. And today I actually came on an unfortunate day. Uh, tonight they just have some small uh, like pompanos hanging, hanging on the cart. Uh, but if you come here on a different day, you'll see like a gigantic fish that will just stop you in your tracks and you'll have to stop and eat here. I haven't been here in a long, long time. Uh, so I'm excited to eat here, but the fish is always fresh here, guaranteed to be fresh and really good, really good. After today's very porky lunch, I uh, decided to go kind of light for dinner and I ordered the Kaltong Pla Ruam or Kaltong Pla Tukiam, including everything, so a mix of different fish and there's a, oh, there's a prawn in there and there is squid as well. And at the bottom is rice in a, should be a, like a fish broth. I think it's a fish broth, um, but it could be pork broth. But anyway, it's seafood um, in a light broth. This is not a like spicy dish. It should be completely not spicy, but just very, very fresh seafood. And let me just taste the rice soup first. Oh, I can also smell the, the deep fried garlic and a little bit of uh, Chinese celery on top. Oh, that just, that just like explodes with comfort. It's not a strong flavor, but it is extremely soothing. Um, I think that's fish broth. It's kind of thick and a little bit oily, but in a really flavorful way. And you can also really taste that fried garlic in there. Okay, this is one of their sauces, which is like a, it smells a little sour and garlicky and chili. I'm gonna put that into a sauce bowl. Okay, and then they have another sauce over here, which is like a fermented bean sauce. I'll just pour a little in there. That smells very nutty. And I will grab, let me start with a piece of fish. And what you're supposed to do is take like pieces of the seafood and then dip it into the sauce. Okay, dip it into that sauce first. Oh, that fish is so fresh. It's almost like chicken breast, actually. There's no fishiness to it whatsoever. And that sauce is nice and vinegary and a little bit spicy as well. Let me dip that other, the other side of that fish into the other sauce now. Oh no, Did it, oh no, it fell apart. 
fell apart in the sauce. Okay, I'm gonna save it. All right. Mm. That sauce is good as well. It's very salty and you can taste that fermented soybean. Almost has a cheesy flavor to it. Just check out the size of this shrimp. It is so huge and so meaty and like curled up almost like a snail. Wow, that looks beautiful. I'm going in for a dip. This thing is, I think this thing is, should definitely not be eaten in one bite. That is crazy good. That tastes almost like a lobster. Well, it's really meaty and really, really firm. For some extra fish, I ordered another dish called Pla Luak Jim. And this is with black Gao, which is a brown marble grouper. And this is a very simple dish. It is, but it must be made with very fresh fish that is boiled and then boiled plain. And then they season it with a bunch of fried garlic. And this is all chopped up Chinese celery. And there are some dry shrimp on top. And there might be just a few little pieces of batang, which is fried pork, I believe but I'm gonna taste a piece of the fish. And you dip it into the sauce. That is awesome. It's so fresh. And so, such a firm fish. You cannot make this without fresh fish. It has to be really, really fresh fish. And it is. Yeah, that first bowl of luak jim was so good, we decided to order a second one. And this one is with blakapong, which is barramundi fish. Oh man, this is so meaty, this fish. And dip. Oh, I had a little piece of pork that came on top of that piece of fish. Dip it a good dip into, oh, another piece of fish broke off. Oh well. It's so fresh and so simple, but so good. Just finished with that katong pla. That is some really good stuff. That is the type of food you would want to eat on a very cold day. But it's definitely not a cold day and I still want to eat it. It's so comforting, really fresh fish. I really enjoy it. Uh, it's a good simple meal and also it's a good like soothing meal. Uh, not spicy, but just really, really good comfort food. We're just gonna walk back across the street to our hotel, and so we have an easy ride home tonight. Uh, so I'm gonna end the video for today here. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up, and also leave a comment below. And also make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And also you can download the free ebook about everything we've done throughout this entire uh, Bangkok trip below. I'll leave the description box. I'll leave the link in the description box below. And thank you all very much for watching. See you tomorrow for the next day in Bangkok.